So my snails just laid a clutch of eggs and I've been like trying to get rid of them so I've had a lot of questions about snail care. So I figured I'd just make a video so I can link people to it so like they know what to do and I don't have to keep typing out the same paragraph over and over again. And also like I feel like there's a lot of people interested in keeping snails and there's not a lot of information readily available for that so compiling a whole bunch of information for you. Uh, for context, I have three brown-lipped grove snails, one white-lipped grove snail, two glass snails, and one garlic snail. And my grove snails, the brown-lipped ones, just laid a whole bunch of eggs. They just hatched yesterday, which is very exciting. Um, but yeah, I've got my hands on a lot of snails. So here's care for them. So this here is my setup. I have a 20-gallon tank I got from the thrift store. Right now, the top I have is just some fiberglass with some holes drilled into it, but I'm thinking about moving to a mesh cover because, like, I my dad cut this for me so you can see it's, like, a little bent and I don't want the little babies escaping. And also I feel like the mesh cover would, like, give them, like, more air and more circulation. But really anything you can use as a cover will work, like a dish towel, whatever. Just make sure they can breathe and also stay in. For substrate, I just used about an inch of potting soil. Really any dirt you can find will work. The pH just has to be at about 7 or above. You can just take dirt from your yard or your garden and shove it in there. I just got a bag of cheap soil. It was like $3. Some people um, bake the dirt in their oven for a bit to kill all the rest of the creepy crawlies that might have gotten in there. But they're snails, they don't really care if they have a few friends. In mine, I have a little roly-poly and a slug. And probably like beetles or something else, but like they they all like the dirt, they don't mind. Um, in terms of like decorations and stuff, snails like having a place to hide. That's why I have like that little terracotta pot and that little plant. Um, they love to explore and like find new things, so I try to change like the decorations around or like take new things out, take things out, put new things in because they just love to explore. In terms of plants, you really want something like native to, to your area or to the area that you found the snails. Um, I wasn't able to find like ferns or moss or anything, but like I'm working on it. And like they seem to enjoy this plant pretty pretty well. They like to take naps on the underside of the leaves and everything, so that's really cute. But really just like anywhere that like they can hide and crawl around and explore and they'll love. Um, my snails tend to love this gargoyle over here. Uh, if you can see, all the babies are congregating. Yeah, my camera's not going to focus. It's fine. But those are babies right there. Uh, snails also like to bury themselves in the dirt, if you haven't noticed. Uh, that's where they lay their eggs. No, my camera's not going to focus, that's fine. Uh, they also just nap there. So it's always a surprise, because like, are they laying eggs or are they just sleeping? We don't know. Uh, but really their tank is super easy to set up. Um, for water, I have a small plate, not a bowl, but a plate of water that's like barely filled. The reason I use a plate and not a bowl is because if it's too deep, they could drown instead of like just drinking it. And like obviously I don't want my snails to drown, so yeah. Um, for food, they eat like any produce except citrus that you'll give them. I usually stick to lettuce and apples and broccoli. Um, grove snails also enjoy nettles and buttercups, so I've been trying to get my hands on some of those. Uh, but yeah, they're pretty easy to maintain and take care of. Really the only maintenance you have to do. Um, I take a spray bottle over the dirt once a day because like they're gooey, they like to stay gooey, so I give them some more moisture. Um, I clean their tank every once in a while, but I can't really show you how to do that right now because there's babies everywhere and they're very small and I'm afraid of like smushing one. Uh, but Snail care is like super simple and you don't really have to worry about any of it. Like it's just dirt in a box, put a plant in the box, you're good. When you want to handle your snails, it's always best to like let them come to you. 
or like one trick I've learned is like you get a popsicle stick or like a plastic spoon or something along those lines and kind of like wiggle it under them but you don't really want to pick them up by their shell because that is where all of their vital organs are stored so when you yank on it you're kind of like tugging them out of where they need to be and like if they're sitting on the dirt I don't mind picking them up by their shell because like they're not gripped to it you just pluck them up but like right now this guy is like secured to the fiberglass so I don't want to be yanking on him also just as an aside um, if your snail's shell starts looking a bit gross like this guy, um, get some eggshell or cuddle bone and like either cut up a small piece of cuddle bone or like crush up an eggshell and leave it on the dirt for them to eat. Because when their shell is like that, it means they're lacking the calcium they need to rebuild it. So like that'll give them that. And each snail has like its own personality. They have like their best friends and like the way they act and it's really cute and fun. Um, right now all my snails are sleeping because it's the daytime. But like at night when I open their tank, all of them like wiggle their eye stalks at me and it's really cute. Um, this guy and... let's try to find him. This guy are best friends. They hang out all the time. Uh, that guy just recently like laid the eggs. So... He helped to take care of those. It was very nice to see them babysit and whatever. Uh, but really, that's all there is to it. You just spray the dirt every once in a while, make sure you respect your snail's need for space, give them some vegetables, and everyone's happy. So that's the basics of snail care. If you have any other questions, my Instagram and my email will be in the description. Feel free to ask me any sort of questions or like just send me pictures of like your own snails or like your own snail stories. I think that'd be really cool. I love to talk about snails. Um, but yeah, good luck on your sn adventures, your snail adventures. And I will be here if you have any questions. Um, I'll probably be putting up a video later on on like how to clean their tank and how to take care of that. Um, I was going to do that today, but like there's a billion babies running around the tank and I'm deathly afraid of like smushing one, so. We'll just wait on that, but yeah, have a good old snail time.